Hey, it's Jameson from JFTech.com. Sorry about that uh, pretty lame intro. We're still we're still working on it. Um, today we're going to be editing XML files in your PS3 theme. We've kind of already did this in one of my other guides, but this is going to be quote advanced unquote. That's what a lot of other people call it, and basically you're just opening it up and adding or changing things that are already there. And it's really not difficult to do. I don't know why people say it's advanced. I think you should do it for all of your themes because it would really make them look a lot better. Uh, some of those things are font properties like color and style. Uh, more or less backgrounds you can have as, as upwards of 20 or just one if you want. And uh, like random snippets like a what your theme's name is going to show up on your PS3 as and like changing the author and all that and it's really easy I just need to make some content for this website so let's get started alright first things first make sure you have the latest updated default icon pack for your PS3 I've included a link to where you can download it at jefftech.com in the video description on YouTube and this includes all the newest icons like power save trophies playlists so on so you don't have to edit your whole theme the way you like it compile it put it on your PS3 and realize oh these files didn't get edited because they're not included not even the official Sony blog has released the power save and playlist icons with them because that was posted a long time ago so go ahead and open this up icons this isn't what they're going to look like. These aren't default, obviously. I uh, used Photoshop's automate feature, so I just edited one, and I said, do the rest. And it edited all these for me the exact way I wanted them to. So that's another tutorial I have at shafttech.com. But we're just going to be dealing with this file. It is our XML. Uh, XML is a pretty handy markup language, but all we're going to be doing with it today is editing a little bit of text in it. Mine opens with Dreamweaver. Your, yours might open with Word, uh, WordPad, Notepad. It really doesn't matter. We're just going to be editing the text in. Any word processor will do that for you. All right, once we're in here, we're going to edit a few things in here. Remember, the font, like color properties, stuff like that, uh, the backgrounds, and theme snippets like the name and author and stuff like that. We can go ahead and do that right here. Arguably the most important one that you would probably want to change is this. Because this is what your theme is actually named. Uh, when you open it up on your PS3, this theme will be called jaftech.com. Go ahead and change this. I'm just trying to make a little bit of revenue here. Just gotta keep the site afloat. So, I'd be glad if you changed this. So, go ahead and call that example, or your name theme, or something. Uh, this, that's shown in the theme menu. This, go and change it to Google or something. I don't care. Uh, yeah, most of this stuff is self explanatory. Really, just fill it in the way you want it to. Things you shouldn't touch, though, is anything. Thing within quotes ending in dot png within here. It's it's telling your XML where to find these images, and unless you've changed them, don't edit these. But you can edit the icon dot png itself if you wanted to. That's fine. Just don't edit the name of it unless you've edited the name. All right, probably something that more people are interested in is the font because I remember I created my first uh, custom PS3 theme back in 2007 when they released the icon package and I made a white background and they were there weren't any guides on like which numbers meant which colors so I had a white background and like white yellowish text and it was really hard to see but thankfully now, which is why I'm stalling, we have the numbers, and I should list them in the video here as to what means what. You have 
three different types of font, which are original, rounded, and pop. And there are several font selections, any any that'll work with any background color, which is really nice. And for a written list, you can check out javtech.com. Again, there's there's a link in the video description. So yeah, if you wanted to change this to let's say dark blue, number six, it's as easy as that. And just say you want a default. Sounds good. All right, more info coming up. Background images. This theme comes with three. It cycles through these randomly throughout the day. But let's say you only made one background. You only edited the A under slash HD and the SD. And you don't really want to have to copy and paste it in your icon folder and change the names because that's just a waste of time. You just want one background. File save, you're done. <laughs> Easy as that. But if you want more, you can do upwards of 20 backgrounds. And you can do it like this, just copy, paste, and make sure you change the naming structure. So let's just go in order here. A, B, C, D, under slash H, D. D. And if you have them name something else, uh, go ahead and change the name to that. It'll work just fine, and you can do that upwards of 20 times. So yeah, really basic. Uh, not too much to worry about. Um, just needed to get some content out there for jaftech.com. This is Jameson. Don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube videos. I'll come out with some better stuff later. See ya.